What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Eshi and I recently just moved across the country to San Diego, California, all the way from Detroit, Michigan. If you missed any of the videos from my moving series, I will leave the playlist right here for you to go check out. When we were moving, one of the first things I knew that I needed to get for my new apartment was a couch. So I started doing a lot of research and I found this company called Sabai Design and today I'm going to review their essential sectional for you guys. Keep in mind, this is definitely not sponsored. These are all my real thoughts from using this couch for the last two months, but it is a newer, smaller company. So I figured this might be helpful if you are thinking about Sabai Design. I did reach out to them to see if they could give you guys a little bit of a discount code if you were interested in purchasing some of their products. So I got one for you. I'm super excited, but I will leave it down in the description box and on the screen an extra little discount never hurts right before we get started if you could click that like button for me it just helps me out so much i would appreciate it and if you are into interior design are liking my moving series videos or are excited to see my room reveal videos do not forget to hit that subscribe button so first of all what is sabai design i've left a link to their website down below so you guys can go check this information out for yourself as well they are a small poc women-owned company they are a company that sells sectionals, couches, love seats, chairs, ottomans, pillows, and I also think candles. They are super focused on non-toxic and sustainable materials in all of the things that they make and they run out of a family-owned manufacturing company in North Carolina. And they try and source most of their materials from around there. So I think 90% of all of the materials sourced are within 100 miles of their factory in North Carolina. They only use recycled, upcycled, and natural fabrics, which is super cool and was something that I was specifically looking for for my couch. All of their wood is FSC certified, which just means that the wood comes from forests that are environmentally conscious and responsibly managed. They also only use Certipure US certified foam, which is foam that has certification that doesn't have a bunch of harmful, toxic chemicals in there. They use plastic-free shipping and all of their products come in smaller, easy to handle boxes. So immediately when I saw that their company was super sustainably focused and all of their materials were recycled fabrics, I was very intrigued. So I did some more research. They have this repair don't replace initiative, which I thought was really, really cool and ended up being one of the major reasons why I decided to go with this company. The overall concept, which I think is pretty genius, is that instead of replacing your couch over however many years that you use it, you only replace the parts of the couch that you want. So they actually sell like the seat cushions, the back cushions, the arms, the legs, all of those parts separately if you need to replace that on your couch. And if you ever want to upgrade some of your pieces, most of these are like modular. So if you end up getting a essential sofa and you want to upgrade to one of their newer corner sectionals, you can actually buy a package that takes the pieces that you need and you can just add it on to your existing sectional. So that I think is pretty cool. It means that you can kind of grow with the furniture piece as you upgrade it maybe into a bigger house in the future. You can take your piece with you. And also having cats, being able to replace the parts that they will inevitably claw at piece by piece was super appealing to me. Another part of their sustainable mindset is this program called Sabai Revive. You can actually sell back your couch to them. They will buy it from you, certify it, make sure the couch is, you know, all set. And then you can actually buy those secondhand couches from their website. And obviously the most sustainable thing that you can do is not buy new, right? It's to buy secondhand. So buying secondhand furniture right from their site where they have made sure the couch is good to go. I think that's a fantastic idea. Now I did go and check on their website for those secondhand couches. They don't have a lot of inventory right now, which is not surprising because they are a smaller company. I'm sure in the future they will have a lot more inventory for you to buy from. And another thing to know, which I definitely did, was you can actually get free swatches from them for all of their fabrics so that you can see for yourself what fabrics you like in person. So what products do they offer and at what price? They have a wide selection of sectionals, sofas, love seats, chairs, ottomans, pillows, and candles. They have a selection of different colors in recycled velvet, 
or upcycled poly. And for the legs, you can actually choose between dark and light wood or black. For their sofas and their sectionals, there's also some options to do individual seating cushions or like long bench seats, which I thought was really, really cool because I was specifically looking for the bench style seating, so not the individual cushion. So I was super thankful that they had that option. I would give the price for their pieces probably a two out of three dollar signs. Not the cheapest thing you're gonna find, definitely not, but also not the most expensive thing you're gonna find. And personally, I think the price is worth it to be more environmentally friendly and sustainable. So what did I personally end up getting? I got what is called the Essential Sectional. It's a three-seater, but the third seat has like a chaise lounge part to it. What's actually kind of cool about that chaise section is that you can put it on the left or the right. So you don't need to purchase a different sofa for each situation. You just get the cushion and you can put it on the left or you can put it on the right, which is really cool because again, if you move and your new space requires a different configuration, you can do that. I did think later on, maybe I should have just ordered the regular sofa, like the three seater and then get their ottoman so that I could move the ottoman around throughout the room wherever I needed to use it and maybe as like an extra seat. But honestly, I'm really glad I got the chaise because that is the most used spot in our entire living room. Chumley and I fight for that spot, so. I think it was worth it. <laughs> I got the velvet material in moss and then I got the natural colored wood legs, so the lighter wood option. The original price for this piece was $1,695 and then I got a welcome discount taking off $50. Since then, they actually have changed their prices. They've made it a little bit more expensive. Um, I think you know, during the pandemic because of all of the shipping and supplying issues, that's just what they had to do. So I, I totally get it. The essential sectional is now $1,845. So with the welcome discount, with the pricing that I got, and then with the San Diego County and California taxes, I paid a total of $1,722.49. So now I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how receiving the packages and putting everything together went. I actually purchased a sectional before we moved and I did reach out to them on their Instagram. They are super responsive on their Instagram page. So if you purchase anything and you have any questions, just reach out to them on their DMs on Instagram. They will respond in like a day. So because I was in the process of packing up and moving and figuring everything out, I actually asked them to put a hold on shipping out my sectional until I had like firmer dates on when I was gonna be there to be able to get all the packages in. We did have a little bit of a kerfuffle because I asked to place a hold they actually something happened I'm sure you know miscommunication somewhere and they placed a hold for longer than I wanted so technically I would have gotten this couch probably in four weeks which was fantastic seeing as how all the other couch companies are still having shipping issues and you have to wait like half a year to get a couch but Actually, I ended up getting the couch in about five weeks because of that little miscommunication error. Still not bad, totally okay with that. When we got in the packages, they delivered a bunch of boxes just like they promised that were easier to handle. We still definitely needed to use a cart to you know, load up all of the packages on and then bring them upstairs to our apartment, but it was very, very easy with two people. With one person, you could probably still handle it too. They were lighter than a lot of Ikea pieces that I've gotten. Putting it together also ended up being a lot easier than a lot of the Ikea pieces that I've gotten. If you've watched my empty apartment tour, quick plug, you should go watch it. We actually put together an Ikea pullout couch in our office slash guest bedroom, and that took much longer to put together than this couch. Granted, there are more pieces to that, but still, it's just easier to put together than Ikea in general. What can I say? The instructions also were just online, so you save on paper there, which I definitely appreciate. For all the actual foundational pieces of the couch, there were like brackets that you would slide together to keep like the arms to the back to the bottom of the couch. Everything was just very intuitive. It probably took us maybe half an hour, maybe up to an hour, just to put everything together, to put the cushions in, all of that, but it was, it was very, very easy, I'm telling you. It also feels pretty sturdy because of the brackets that are holding everything together. I also appreciate that at the bottom of the legs, there are these little caps that you can screw to make the legs taller or shorter um, in case your floor is like at a slant. I don't know, you can move some of the legs to be taller and some of the legs to be shorter. So that's pretty cool. And again, the fact that you can 
move the chaise part of your couch from the left to the right, wherever you need it to be, depending on your living room. I think that's super, super handy. I don't know why more people don't do that. The one complaint that I do have is that the bottom piece that holds the bottom half of the chaise, there is this little bracket piece that you use to hold that bottom piece to the base of your couch. That is really hard to keep holding on to the main part of the couch. That bracket always slides off and it's not that big of a deal because it doesn't actually move the couch in any way, but I do think that maybe they could put two brackets to hold the bottom half to the couch or just something else that holds everything super, super sturdy when it comes to the chaise part. Now moving on to a real review of the comfort, the style and the durability of this couch. So really, was this purchase worth it? I'm gonna start with style because overall, I was really looking for a couch that was sustainable, that was environmentally friendly. And when I saw that this couch was 100% recycled materials, I was like, wow, that is such a cool concept. Is it gonna be ugly though? And you know what? I freaking love the style of this couch. I got that deep green color and it is a party pleaser. I've gotten many compliments on this color. It goes with my style and the rest of my furniture perfectly. It is like that perfect pop of color. If you're super into like that neutral living room, I would say do the rest of your living room super neutral. You know, all of the beiges, the whites, the creams. And then you can just have this couch as a pop of color and oh, it looks so good. It looks so good, I'm telling you. But keep in mind, if you're not into those, you know, pops of colors, they also have a white and a charcoal option too. So there you go. I love that the legs are tapered. It gives you a little bit more of that mid-century modern look. And the back of the couch is actually pretty low, which I actually appreciate. I didn't think that I would like that because I was used to a couch with like a higher back that you could really rest everything on. But the low back is really, really great because it provides a great sight line all the way across the room all the way to your windows to wherever. The arms are perfectly chunky, but not too chunky, not too thin. The chaise section juts out perfectly. I just, I really appreciate the style of this couch and I can tell that it would go with a lot of different styles. That's the main thing. It could really work within any space if you style it right. And right now I'm like a sucker for a velvet couch. So the velvet is just beautiful. Moving on to comfort, that is, one of the biggest things about buying a couch, am I right? I was fully ready to be like, okay, this couch may not be the most comfortable thing. That's okay. At least I'm being more sustainable. No, actually this couch is freaking comfortable. When you first get the cushions, they are a tiny bit more firm than what they do end up being once you, you know, sit on the cushions for a little bit longer. But right off the bat, I was like, wait, this is, this is not bad. This is actually comfy. And the back cushions are my favorite thing. You cannot imagine the number of naps that I've taken where I've just used that as my head pillow or my side pillow or my everything pillow. It's just so comfy to take naps in. It's kind of bad. You can really fluff up the back pillows too to make them like look really nice. But when you lean against them, they kind of like cushion you in every perfect way. I don't know how to explain it. But they're, they're just like the perfect back cushion for a couch. I love them. And the chaise part of our couch, I'm, I'm telling you, we literally fight over who gets to sit there when we're watching movies because it is that comfortable to lay out and just watch a movie with those nice back pillows. I mean, it's fantastic. Now I am into more of a firm couch than like a restoration hardware type couch, if that makes sense. So if you're super into like those really, really, really deep seats, like the very ultra loungy couches where you can literally, like you can't sit up in them, then this may not be the couch for you. But I honestly think this is a great mix of lounge, plus like comfort for guests, if that makes sense. Oftentimes I found when I've been a guest in someone else's home who has more of those loungy couches, it becomes extremely uncomfortable for you to sit there and like talk to your host. You like end up falling backwards and having to lay down and that's a little awkward for conversation. So 
I just prefer a little bit more of a firm couch and this is that exactly. I was also concerned with the depth of the seat because I do like a little bit more depth in my seat so that if I do have guests over, they can sit comfortably, but also I can lounge and sit back while watching movies. And I think that this length or this depth of the seat is perfect. I will say that the armrests are not like the cushiest of things. They do have good like form to them. So what I would recommend is what we did. So we had two lumbar pillows that we just usually put on the sides of the couch right next to those armrests. So that if you are laying down on the armrest, you can just kind of use that lumbar pillow as well. And it makes it a little bit more comfortable. And now for the durability of the couch. So granted, we have only had this couch for about two months now. So I will hopefully in the future give you an update on how the couch has been going. And also keep in mind, I am coming at you with two cats that love to run around and play fight with each other. They love chasing each other. So like they will have their claws out and they will run full sprint on this couch. So that is my experience. And that's why I will talk to you a little bit about durability. <laughs> Because I knew that my cats would inevitably get their claws on the furniture, I looked into what fabrics were best for pets. And it turns out velvet is actually a really good fabric for pets. Because the fabric is not like a loose weaved fabric, it's not like linen, for example, and it has a low pile, cats are less likely to claw at it on their own. And I found this to be pretty true. My cats don't like go there to use as a scratching post. Like I said before, what they do is that when they are fighting, they will have their claws out and the couch will get scratched up because of that. And when they're running full force from one end of the room to the other end of the room and the claws are out, the couch will get scratched. I personally, I can see where they have scratched the couch, but it really doesn't look that bad. And I don't think any guest has ever noticed. I noticed because I'm OCD and I like to clean things and you know, I see these things every single day, but nobody else has noticed. And honestly, the material has been holding up pretty well. So I would definitely give this material a pass if you have pets. The other thing this material is really good for is quick cleanups. I know that it helps that I have a dark couch, but we have spilled a couple liquids on here and I've gotten to them pretty fast after the spill and it is super easy to clean up. I've literally, I think, just used like water and maybe like a tiny bit of mild detergent and I've just kind of like mopped up the spot and then mopped up the water afterwards and it's been totally fine. So cleanup so far has been very easy. Again, I can't speak to the upcycled poly material options that they have, but for the velvet, really, really good. And like I said, I'm gonna have to see how that bracket that holds the bottom half of the chaise, how that kind of holds up because I know it doesn't always cling on to the base of the couch very well. I don't think it's going to be a problem for the durability long term but I will definitely let you know. So far, it's been holding up really, really well. Material's been doing great. The legs and the wood on the legs, my cats are not scratching at, at all. And even if they did, I don't think it would be a problem. The wood seems really, really nice. So there you have it. For some final thoughts, since I purchased my sectional, like I said, their price did go up a little bit. So that's definitely something that you guys should look into to see if it's within your budget. I personally think that I would have still bought the essential sectional with the, the higher cost than what I bought it for. Overall, I think this couch was a great purchase for the money that I spend. I would highly recommend that you guys check out this company. Again, I'm not sponsored. I just was super excited to tell you guys about this company and my thoughts on my new couch. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments down below if this helped you out at all, or if you think this couch and this company's idea is intriguing. I know I did. And please don't forget to give this video a like if it helped you out at all. And I will be doing so many more interior design videos. It's gonna be ridiculous. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have an amazing day and I will see you soon. Thank you.